Let's bring in our next guest, our buddy, Rowdy Telez, joining us on FT Live right now. Rowdy, uh, first ever interview for Ricky Karcher. We were just showing it, and he's like, he's dropping uh, the S word. He's dropping shit on cable television. How come you didn't do that? I did. I did it with a, uh, we had um, one of our on field reporters. Um, asked me about a wedding I did in the off season a couple of years ago, and I said shit, and she like lost it, and I was like, God, oh, it's not a bad word. <laughs> Wait, but, she got upset. Sorry, I you was... said it on on camera. Yeah, yeah, she did. She didn't like it. She was like, Hey, you said a bad word, and I was like, Yeah, I don't care. Neither does anybody else in America. <laughs> well, so, before we dig in, it can, was I, good. Can, I see, can I get a full view of whatever shirt you have on? Reception's tough. Let's see. No. I got answer. He said, I got no super connection because we're in Minnesota. Uh oh. Remember when Trevino was in Minnesota? He couldn't get a connection. Either. Minnesota's got Wi Fi issues um, now. Dude, I'm losing. Uh oh. Rowdy. We'll talk, we'll talk to you tomorrow when Kratz is back on. <laughs> Minnesota's right in the city, too. Is that ball? The heart of the city. I, can't get Wi-Fi in the heart They're of the city. They're out stealing it all for the Timberwolves. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. More, oh, more Wi-Fi right next over to, here. Right next to each other. They never more go. over here. The shirt did look. I wanted to know what that was. It looked, like. it looked Gucci. I, I know. That's why I was wanting to know what it looked like. <laughs> not, I wanted to see the whole thing. You know, I need to see oh, the whole thing. The definitely not fans. Gucci. No. So that's a, that'd be too expensive of a shirt for Rowdy to buy. Trust me. He's cheap, man. I promise you. Cheap, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting back on now. Of course, our fans right away go, Raddy, go to the laundry room. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where we work for There it is. The laundry room is famous for reception. <sighs> well, great, great. Raddy's best interview by far. Oh, he nailed it. <laughs> yeah. So I do want to go back then to some other hot corner topics, including Mark Kotze. So we have a word from him. What? He deserves – a raise, he deserves a better job, he deserves it all. Because he might, might not have a job after a, what he said, though. Okay. Well, I don't know what he said, honestly, but I was told that it was supportive of the fans. Which, oh, oh, Rowdy's back. Rowdy's back. Yeah, kind of. But, yeah, here, listen here, love. You ain't talking to me about being cheap, you little fuck. You don't spend <laughs> no money on your team. Wait a minute. And Wait a minute now. We were, I was, I was, yeah. You know, fuck you. And I was late getting to the stadium because they are putting up this shitty-ass statue of A.J. Brzezinski in this fucked-up place. So, <laughs> I don't even want to hear it. I had, like, Can half I, a good season here, and they love him. Is that true? Are they putting up a statue? God. Have you not learned that Rowdy lies more than you do? He, he hasn't. He hasn't, A.J., at all. I, 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 so, this conversation with Rowdy. Rowdy lies once. You don't want a statue up in Minnesota? I deserve one after they traded me for Joe Nathan, Francisco Liriano, and Booth. And Joe Mauer. That was a Joe good Mauer, trade for the. One. That was a good trade for the Twins. Uh, no shit. That's they why got they some put good a arms and some good clubhouse guys. And got rid of you. That's right. And I went to your favorite team and got to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Little fat meatball. All I wanted you was, was an autograph. Fat, you, were a little, you were a little fat meatball back then, so I was like, "Fuck off." I'm a vegetarian. There's the shirt. Oh, that is nice. Sick shirt. I wear collared shirts to the field because I'm a professional. <laughs> Get that. Where, where does one? Where does one purchase a shirt like that? Cincinnati. Uh, <laughs> there's not much to do there, but buy a shitty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap, man. Good. Be, oh, I miss you, man. Hey, listen, Rowdy, I miss you, man. I miss the trash talk more than anything. You know I enjoy yeah, it. You, were, you weren't very good at it, but, I mean, it's always fun to talk to you. Right. I, usually, well, you know, I usually call Lowe on my drives to go deer hunting, and he answers the phone, and he's usually doing something. Um that he's that he has to say something bad about me and you know but he was always my my hero when i got traded over here he was hurt and then he came over here and didn't even introduce himself to me he just looked at me and i said yeah man we got the same haircut say something stupid so we, we was close from then on and never bought me anything didn't take care of any of the young guys um but i mean crusty ass hands needed lotion rowdy the Bro. difference between us is listen I'm eight years, eight years, nine years older than you are, but we got the same haircut, you know? I'm growing mine out. Look at that. I'm growing it back, man. You see that? Growing it back. Yeah, out. dude. You know what? It's a jungle out here, man. <laughs> it's a jungle. 
<laughs> well, listen, Rowdy. Listen to me, man. What's going on? What's going on in Milwaukee? Talk to me. Do I need to make a trip? Do I need to make a trip to Milwaukee and get you guys rolling? Again? I think, yeah, I think you do. Because we got going when you came out to Colorado last year. I think I think we need you. At least I do. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm tired of being the most veteran guy in this place. It's getting tough. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened last time, Lo? What what happened last year? Well, you know, it was a. Um, he donated money to the fantasy football, so it's cool. Yes. You know, because, you know, I'm the reigning champ of fantasy football, so I went out for the fantasy football draft. And, you know, I had to get out there and, and you know, get the boys because they were struggling a little bit. So, we, you know, we talked. We had a, had a few drinks and relaxed, you know, being our old, old selves, talking trash to each other. And they need that. They need the trash talk day in and day out, especially Rowdy. That is what gets him going. He needs it. You hear me, AJ? Scott, they need it. Yeah, well, does yeah. he have like, – Rowdy, do you have, like, the soundboards in the clubhouse to be able to talk shit with, or are you missing some of that right now? Um, You know what? I would really like AJ in there. I'm, You know, I don't say a lot of good things about AJ, but I know I heard he was really good at, at talking shit, and, like, I, I really need somebody like that. That You know, like, sometimes it's okay to talk shit when – you know, I'm, I got, like, 19 years in the league. It's only like four and a half, but it's like 19. And <laughs> sometimes you just need that guy that, that just says something and you're just sitting there and you're like, man, I got, I can't fire nothing back. And you just sit there and you're like, God damn it. You, know, you wear it. And we don't really, uh, there's not a lot of shit talking guys here. We got a, we got a really nice clubhouse. Murph, really good you got guy. Murph. Yeah, but you never know. Like Murph's going to, you just don't know with Murph. Sometimes he just, he's in his moods. He'll put on his headphones. He'll walk around. Uh, he works. Did he get? I mean, I swear to God, he's full. You need up at like nine a.m. for a seven o'clock. <laughs> All right, so you ready for some shit talking? Yeah. What do you got? What the fuck's wrong with you? Why the fuck can't you hit? Because I my Twitter is getting blown up. Can you please have Rowdy on so you can get him hot? So what the fuck is going on with your hitting? And then second of all, how in the holy hell are you guys behind the Pittsburgh Pirates? Um. Well, I'll answer the Pittsburgh Pirates one first. Um, see what happens when you lose some games and they win games, then they go up. I don't know if you know how baseball works, but, uh, no, barely, you know, it's, we're, just, we're in a little, we're in a little funk right now. It happens. It happens to the best of us. And then to hitting, I was watching videos on you because I was, I was getting prepared to talk shit and it just went downhill fast. I was like, you know what? Let's copy that swing. And it didn't work. And I don't know. And then I was decided to take BP like low and fillet everything over third thinking I could steal bases and that didn't work and then I was like you know what I'm gonna mix in a salad maybe I'll eat clean and my, my vibes will change and that didn't work so I'm just in the middle of just you know I might need a, a live chicken um or something you know maybe I need to watch Bull Durham AJ why don't you just show up out here you you got enough money to make a flight out here you probably fly private they love you here in Minnesota they do Love me here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you when I'm going to see you. Hold on. Let me let me look real quick, and I'll tell you when I'm going to see when I have a Brewers game. Oh yeah, I don't. Never mind. Only do good teams. Um, <laughs> that's why you do the White Sox. So what are you talking about? You do good teams. No, that's you know they they like me. Uh, let me see. I actually do have a Brewer game somewhere on do the you? schedule. Uh, well, I was supposed to have one, but they took me off of it. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, August twelfth. I'll see you August twelfth. Guess where? Chicago. Nailed it. Brewers, White Sox? Yep. Yeah, of course. Where do you see that over there? If I, if I keep hitting like you, though, I might not make it to August 12th. I might be sitting at Low Kane's <laughs> house with him. Hey, Crown of Coke. Hey, I don't know if you have a – I don't know. Your phone doesn't have internet, but you better check those statics. Better check yeah, the back of my baseball card and, and call <laughs> me back. T-Mobile, man. I got that I got that T-Mobile shit. You know, it's just – it's not good. You're supposed to get, you're supposed to get free uh, – Free MLB free package MLB. on T-Mobile. That's true. Yeah, hey, but that did you doesn't see the, help with Wi-Fi. Did you see the Gucci stuff we just had? No. Uh, your shirt was part of it, I think. But it, all the stuff kind of looked like your shirt. Would you buy Gucci MLB stuff? They had a sleeveless no. vest, denim vest. With all no, the I don't, I don't wear nothing like that. I mean, I don't. I don't have that kind of money. I can't. There it is. Hell Can no. you see that? Not only no, but hell no, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> Wait, Rowdy, Rowdy, how much do you think they're selling that for? If it's Gucci, that's that's got to be like six grand. 
eight thousand two hundred dollars. You went under. Yeah, man, that's. I'm trying to keep my pockets heavy, as as my man Low would say, and that's just yeah. not how you do it. Keep those pockets heavy, man. Don't buy that Gucci stuff. It's a waste of money. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, tell your, tell your wives that. <laughs> yeah. That's Too not sure. it either. Yeah. Right, I had to buy. I had to buy Low Kane a, a a little scooter on his last leg. You know, when he was out here because he couldn't get around. So I had to take care of my man. Get him the front row parking spot. Hey, Got to take care of the vets, man. Got to take care That's of the right vets. Got to look out for and them. You're supposed to take care of the young guys, but you didn't do nothing. I think I bought suits. I bought video games case. I bought cakes. Listen, AJ Scott, every no, birthday. No, I know you did. I would, I would buy cakes. Every, for everyone's birthday, cakes. Whoever birthday it was, I bought a cake. We enjoyed it. We ate me so shit. much cake on that team. It was amazing. I enjoyed it, huh? I know. Look, that's why it turned out like this. I used to look like you when I got over there when I got traded. And the next thing I know, I'm out here looking like I apologize. Like the big show. As soon as you get done playing, we're going to put you on a diet and we'll get you back to that playing weight. All right? That's about how it works. Maybe we get <laughs> some hair plugs, too. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Hey, Rowdy. You know what it was? Yeah. I used to, I used to, Lowe used to sit next to me on the plane when I was playing cards and he would sit there and we would have to, he would tie himself into the plane. He put on one seat belt and then he'd flip up the edges on the plane and put on all the other seat belts around him. Any sort of turbulence, man, dude, he thought the plane was going down. I used to tell him all the time, we're not going to make it, man. We're going to lawn dart somewhere. And he would just, he'd look at me and tell me to shut up, leave him alone. Man, he goes, you know, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'd throw my crown and coat. <laughs> yeah, well, Rowdy, you see, now he just now he just chills in Oklahoma, barely leaves the house, and he'll look behind him and be like, "Oh, I'm in uh, France today. Oh, yeah. I'm in Philippines yeah. this afternoon." See, man, the, you know damn well you ain't teaching those boys nothing. <laughs> hey, that's why they go to school, okay? <laughs> and you sitting in that desk next to him, trying to learn, showing up in your your and one shoes, your jorts, and your polo collared shirt today. Want to practice? Why are, you, why are you telling everybody about this, man? It's supposed man. to be between between us. You know what I mean? Keep it between no, us. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. I know that you was do the that first day of baseball, cases. right? Yes, first day of baseball. Showed up in some jorts, basketball shoes, <laughs> and a college shirt. <laughs> they stuck but his ass at third base, and he said, "No, nah, that's not for my brother. Let me go out to the outfield." Yeah, couldn't hit a lick, couldn't feel the ground ball, but I could run. Let me tell you, I could run. And they put me at third base. The ball ate me alive. So I played third base all of two weeks, and they said, hey, go to the outfield. And that's where I made my living, AJ. That's where well, I made my living. That's true. That's true. Hey, breaking news, Rowdy. By the way, you got a new teammate. Rymel Tapia signed with the Brewers. I don't know. Rymel Tapia? Yeah. I played with him in the Fall League. Speaking of guys that could run. That was Is he going to help? Yeah. But, you know, it's, we, need, we need some help. We probably need a new first baseman. AJ said we need a new first baseman one time. And oh, here we go again. Yeah, I, well, you're time. right. You know what? You know what? If I show up, that's the problem. You don't want me to show up because counts might call me in. I, I can't wear your uniform and be a little big on me, but <laughs> I, I, I at least can show up. I'll catch it. I'll, I, I'll sneak in a hit or two every once in a while. Yeah, you'd be like me in the last 10 games. You'd have one hit and two hits. It'd be perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, I'd be cheaper. I'd be cheaper. Probably you would be too, but that's a true story. Hey, at least I told the real story. You did come to San Francisco and you did say some I, shit listen, like that. Listen, I have day. not denied that. I, I've told that story. Colton Wong and I had a conversation. You guys need a first baseman? I can play. Brady's <laughs> sitting right there. You got yeah. better after that, though. See, that's how us vets do it. We tell, we so you the guy that we want to hear hears it, and then they learn. Say, oh shit, there's a mirror. I better look in it. And then, bam! Look at you now. Yep, look at me now. Just, it's gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy got some fan questions. So, uh, Sean or new country songs? Are a lot of guys afraid of flying in MLB? Um, damn, Lo, they called you out like that, huh? Wow, Lo's yeah. super scared. Uh, I'd say there's one or two on every team that there's definitely one that does not like flying, like absolutely hates it, and then there's one that's like. Like the undercover dude that never, doesn't want to say because he doesn't want to get worn out about it. But I would say there's one or two guys in every team that don't like flying. 
Do you have one on your current team? Yeah. Would you like to you know, reveal them? I don't care. I mean, it, Wade Wade Miley doesn't like flying. He's kind of like low, just likes to sit there and and not really move and just hang out, relax, watch a show. Um, but turbulence, you know, turbulence is never fun. You kind of feel helpless when you're in the air. But yeah, turbulence is. He doesn't like it. It's pretty funny too because a lot of guys start screaming and stuff. And <laughs> just makes it way worse. <laughs> uh, I got one from Ronnie. If there was one team besides the Brewers, what team would you want to play for? Um, just proximity to home, probably the Rangers. Mm-hmm. No state income tax, too. True. Not, Not the Giants? Point. The home? The... Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> With a whole back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that was your team no. growing up. That was. Doesn't mean I want to go out there. <laughs> I, like okay, I mean I like three three or four days in that city is enough for me <laughs> hey what did you hear about what's going down in the bay area tonight the reverse protest at the oakland game the fans are all showing up it's actually going to be busy there and they're they bought sell shirts so people donated thousands of dollars so that they're handing out to every fan that walks in a shirt that just says sell because the owner treats everyone like shit no, I don't have social media, so I don't I don't hear much about a lot of stuff. But that's kind of funny because I guarantee you they won't have the security to do that. Like, it's going to be a mass chaos there. Did you see one? What was it? Two weeks ago, a fan ran on the field, mm-hmm. ran the base. It was a kid. Looked like, what, 15-year-old kid? Mm-hmm. Ran the bases and then hopped back up to his seat untouched. Wow. That doesn't surprise me. I We had two fans run on the field in one day. When I was there in 19, and Jeff Nelson caught one of them, the umpire, and suplexed him. And I was like, oh, damn. You know, Jeff, was- you, you guys know you guys know Jeff. He doesn't say very mm-hmm. much. And it was kind of like he just tucked his shirt back in and went about his day. Called bad balls and strikes, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what what happened this past weekend? Did went After, no one likes it, but now they've won six in a row, and they're even beating Tampa Bay, too. Did, did you go in the clubhouse and be like, well, you're all getting DFA'd. No, because I was one of those guys. You can't really say that when you when you kind of were leading the charge for that. Were the guys I mean, dejected or like Lowe said, I would have just walked in, crack a joke, be like, fuck it, let's go. A lot of guys were like, you know, it, it was a little somber in there, but I was like, dude, Seabiscuit wins sometimes, you know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great you know, like. It shit just happens, man. Sometimes it's just, it's just not, it's just not your day. It's not in the cards. I mean, I think they've won six straight something now. So it's like, it, it, it just, it happens. It's part of the game. You know, you look at teams that win a hundred and something games a year and they lose the first three games of the playoffs and they're out, you know, it's just shit. It happens, man. You know, you know those guys have played long enough. AJ and Lowe, you guys played long enough and been on some stretches where you guys are beating everybody and then there's been some stretches where the worst team in baseball comes into town and you know they no hit you or they they beat and sweep you and you just sitting there and you're like all right well that wasn't in the cards but fuck it we got 100 more brody you have to understand scott didn't play i don't know if you know this or not but scott never played baseball <laughs> so he no just... but he yeah so it's like scott is i when i when i talk about like, that's why i said you guys and then i said the two names of the guys that played yeah he did uh, you. Good. he knows good. <laughs> and, you know, Scott's like one of those guys. He's like the new wave that um, baseball is really easy from behind the screen. And we should be really <laughs> good at it because when he played on the video game, he played really easy and, and you were good. But, um, no, he, he goes in the gym. He does his biceps, puts on a jersey every now and then and, you know, goes in his room, shuts his door and pretends he's King Griffey. But in reality, Scott Braun. And it works. Did. It works. He's and on, he's down the street. Yeah, he was on rookie level. So yeah, yeah, beginner, easy. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's like good at like, baseball video games. He plays on the level of the pitchers that you face, AJ. Everybody's throwing eighty-seven right near bat speed, and the game's <laughs> hard. So. Uh, Actually, Roddy, there was a great line <laughs> when we had oh, when we had Pete Alonso on. I, somehow it came up like, oh, who would you want to face? We, I could ask you this too, like, who would you want to face all time? And someone on our show was like Babe Ruth, and Pete's like. 
Babe Ruth probably threw dumpy 82 mile an hour cutters. She's like, screw that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I, anybody that AJ faced that he had a crew out of, it's probably somebody that would line up right to me. <laughs> Matt Harvey? Who? Matt Harvey? Okay, we're not talking about the back half. I will give you some props. You played for Roy Holiday, years or what, Pedro. Those are guys that hit well. Are they are they bad? Yeah, like those. See, there was like three of those floating around. You got Roger Clemens, good one, nice. Um, Randy Johnson, in the book. cool. You had you had five. We have like three of those in a rotation everywhere we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you guys are so much better. We are. You guys are so much better now. Dude, the fact that. You don't even have to be in shape to play baseball. Just shows like how easy it was back then. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm just gonna say kettle, make the pot. Dude, I didn't say it was. I didn't say I was in shape. I was just saying like how often guys weren't in shape back then. Oh. <laughs> well, oh. drop the mic, Roddy. We got. We we gotta let you jump. I already broke one ball head today. If I had one of you, oh yeah. wait, you don't have one. Never yeah. mind. Well, good luck on on the yeah. AJ statue out there. Um, tell the guys they're doing yeah, a they're great job right now. Yeah, they were just putting it up, and then they stood in the waste management dumpster because they just figured it was fucking nobody wants it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you are something else. Let me uh, tell you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey man, hey AJ, I want to AJ. In all seriousness, AJ, I do, I do respect your career and everything you've done, and I just like to talk shit because you do like to talk shit, and I've heard a lot of. A lot of stories about how much hell you gave young guys, and I kind of want that. I want to see what that's like. Rowdy, listen, dude, it doesn't bother me. I promise <laughs> you, I just laugh. It, I, there's nothing. There ain't nothing you can say that my wife ain't already said to me. Okay, so trust me, there, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I will laugh, and I don't get mad. And it, the game needs more of this. Yeah, I agree. This yeah. Is what can I, I share love. your I bank account it. like your wife does? Then, uh, no. There's only one of those per family. Because if I had two of them. I'd have to move in with Scott instead of Scott moving in with me. <laughs> I got a Scott good spot. Scott losing a one No, it's a two now. A two. I upgraded. You upgraded yeah. just for me. Yeah. Orlando is a lot cheaper than New York City. Hey. Oh, is that Yell? <laughs> yeah, Yell yeah. started hitting some homers. <laughs> he did yesterday, two days ago. Did he? Two days ago. Yeah, we lost oh, us, still. Uh, All right. Well, go get him tonight, Rowdy. Go do your thing, man. Good to catch right. up. We'll get you again in a few weeks. All right, we'll see y'all. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks, Cheers. Rowdy. All right, Rowdy.